I have been um, smiling, celebrating, bragging about my first year at Proactive Talent. This is my first year anniversary there. And when um, people <laughs> see me, they're asking me, Jim, why are you smiling so much? So then I go into this whole deal of why I'm so happy working at Proactive Talent. And then they'll ask me, well, are they hiring so I can smile like that? And I said, you know, we are. And then I had this idea. I said, you know what? Why don't I create a podcast and call it a job cast? And in this job cast, I'll have some of my coworkers from Proactive Talent jump in and talk about uh, why we all like working here and about the opportunities we have, about the culture. One thing led to another, bada boom, bada bing. Here we are. So welcome, dear listener, to our very first job cast, which will begin right after this special message. You are listening to Tribe Pod, a podcast series. You are listening to Tribe Pod, a podcast series of interviews of interest to the HR community. It is hosted by Courtney Lane, produced by Jim Stroud, sponsored by Proactive Talent, and enjoyed by you. Today's episode begins right after this. On-demand recruiting is an hourly service that we offer where our recruiters work as an extension of your business, helping to fill your positions by finding top talent. So on-demand recruiting is there to address issues in hiring when a company is experiencing a lot of growth, when they're having some seasonality changes where they may um, temporarily need to expand their recruiting team. You maybe have a new line of business or a space where you're expanding your business and you need to bring in specialty expertise to help fill those niche roles that your internal team may not yet be ramped up on. Proactive Talent's on-demand recruiting solution is uh, quite different from a lot of the other models that you're going to see in the, in the workplace. Whereas you're going to pay a contingency recruiting firm, typically on average around 20%, sometimes up to 30% of the first year salary of the person that you hire. And in that same period of time, you'll spend less than a quarter of that with Proactive Talent's managed on demand. For more information on Proactive Talent, visit them online at proactivetalent.com or click the link in the podcast description. Can you guys please try and do the rap again? (laughs) Please? (laughs) Please? Yeah, boy! It's usually a walk in. I made a little rap and was like, I got the T to the B to the J to the C, all going to do a job cast with me. <laughs> so if you want a job that you really love, well, head over to your career site. <laughs> Doug, my love. Oh, oh, day I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rapping, not my thing. I love rap. I love hip hop. Uh, hip hop, a hippie, did a don't stop. Um, mm. The rhythm to oh. the boogie to be, but I am not not a very good rapper. No, I, oh. I like the the Queen Latifah, Public Enemy. <laughs> Back when hip hop was really hip hop, not what these kids today are doing. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friends, well, Prince, and my kid play. Let's rock this. We are we are growing. Uh, I I gotta say just before we kick off here, like the fact that we have five open roles. Mm. Uh, is uh, a little insane to me just with the fact that just two or three years ago, we, we didn't even have that many full-time people at the company. And now we're, mm. we just have that amount open. Um, so uh, very, uh, very cool that we're uh, very cool that we're on here, that we need a whole podcast dedicated to how much growing we are doing at practice mm-hmm. talent. So uh, mm-hmm. In this market, that that is a blessing, and I, I think it's a direct result of just the awesome work that our teams have been doing over this past year through the pandemic. Um, uh, you know, to to add value to our clients, for it's sure. Awesome. It's, and for the benefit of of listeners who don't already uh, automatically know our voices, uh, let's introduce ourselves. I'll go first. Jim Stroud, VP of Marketing at Practice Talent. Courtney. Courtney Lang, I'm the principal consultant over the hiring services division here at Proactive. Will? Yeah, I'm Will Stain, founder and CEO. Brittany. Brittany King here, people and talent manager who moonlights as the resident hope dealer. 
<laughs> and Travis. Travis Triggs, Principal Consultant, Recruitment Marketing. Anything, let me just brag and just be a little bit brag on myself. This is my year anniversary. Happy Check anniversary. Happy anniversary. What, awesome. a, what a yes. first year, huh? Wow. Oh, man. Way to come in right before the... <laughs> Right for the everything right, right when we needed you right when yes. we needed you most yes. like a like a knight in shining armor coming through i've so enjoyed my year here at, at proactive talent looking forward to the next millennia of being here at proactive talent it's been a wild ride i tell people i do work i love with people i like and uh thank you all for thank you all for letting me be here uh, it's been really, really fun. I told someone earlier that I have a big smile on my face back then, and I still have it now. Some jobs I couldn't say that, <laughs> but <Yeah>. this one. <laughs> well, Jim, I, it's I, Jim, it's definitely... it's been awesome. It's been awesome, man. I, I, you know, you coming in right as that pandemic hit at a time when we needed to educate and maybe uplift people a little bit. Um, yeah, was just uh, perfect timing and our ability to sort of shift into. A, a company that is sharing resources, helping out the greater community, educating people through this trend with the Tribe TV episodes. It's just been, um, it's been awesome working with you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. But let the uh, listener know what it has been like, this whole growing curve, like from the beginning days of Proctor Talent to now to the future. How do you see things going? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I tell you what, six years ago when I was uh, on paternity leave uh, after a, a pretty a 10 year run of high growth uh, TA leadership and employer brand building, I, I never would have imagined that we would be where we are today. You know, I, mm. I originally a journey, a way to kind of keep my options open as I was looking for that next thing, but also was born out of frustration. I was very frustrated uh, leaving my last head of TA role with uh, just especially in high growth tech startups with the ability to um, just flexibly scale my operations. Uh, I either mm -hmm. had to hire my recruiters full time, I had to engage an outside agency or an RPO or a contingent search firm. And it was just all these pieces. And I, I was kind of dreaming of what the, the ultimate partner would be for companies going through change or growth or modernization. Uh, and there's a lot of that going on and, and started this, at first as a solopreneur journey for me to work with multiple companies uh, and then quickly realized that um, this model was something that our industry really needed. Sort of this, you know, this blend of flexible RPO, you know, freelance work for this blend of flexible RPO, you know, freelance workforce um, mm -hmm. that, that covered everything talent acquisition and, and believe it or not at the very beginning we didn't have all of the hiring services that that courtney does we you know the services were sort of built on my skill set and background you know mm -hmm. uh, i'd been you know for the last you know 10 years before starting the firm you know in recruiting operations process definement you know training recruiters on on on, on social and sourcing tactics and building employer brands so our, our first services were really employer brand strategy and recruiting optimization uh, strategy and consulting. And then everything else I think grew organically based on our client needs, right? So we'd be mm -hmm. in an employer brand engagement like, oh, do you do advertising? And we're like, oh yeah, that would be a natural thing for us to help you with, right? And so we 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 started an ad agency within this, this model, um, finding process issues, but at the same time, they're like, hey, do you, have, do you know some good recruiters? And we're like, ah, actually we do. And that grew out our on-demand recruiting. And so with these these two pillars of both talent attraction and hiring services came together uh, and and continued to evolve. And as I brought in, you know, friends and industry peers that I respected in here to allow them to grow their businesses all under one flag as well. And and then here we are today, you know, really starting with a lot of flexible freelancers and then starting to grow that core team of now 10 full time employees and you know, a, a network of, of, of people in our tribe that, that work on projects of 30 or more people now, Brittany, is that mm -hmm. right? You know, in, in, in total. And so, and over the last five years, we have helped over 150 companies 
modernize their recruiting, build their employer brands, increase their employee engagement uh, in pretty much every industry imaginable. It is a, it is a real blessing to actually do what I love with people I really like doing it with, uh, mm -hmm. like what like you said, Jim. And, and now here we are in our next phase of growth. You know, we've, we've, we've built out our leadership team. We've got a couple of them here today uh, to talk about hiring in, within their divisions. And, and now it's, it's, it's time to, to really go to the next level and, and, and increase our impact um, on, on companies and, and the economy uh, at large. Yeah. Speaking of the um, uh, hiring people on the call, I think I'm going to jump, jump a gun a little bit and go to Courtney. Courtney, you got a lot of hiring things going on, on in your neck of the woods. Uh, what are some of the people you would love to just apply like today, like right now to stop listening and just apply right at this very moment. Yeah. So, um, we've, we have sort of two, this very moment. Yeah. So, um, we've, we have sort of two buckets of opportunities right now on the hiring side. One of those is the on-demand recruiter mm. and those are our freelance recruiters. Although I, it's not even on-demand recruiter anymore because we have sourcers, uh, we have projects that come through for recruiting coordinators and recruiters. And like Will mentioned, it's really across all industries. And so the folks that are going to love this kind of work and be most successful in this kind of role are the folks that, you know, really enjoy and, um, uh, well, okay. So the the way I always describe it is our clients are always going through one of three things, change, challenge, and growth. And so you have mm. to have that special kind of personality to be able to plug into an environment that isn't necessarily completely stable. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just, there's always a lot going on with our clients. So if, if you're looking for monotony, um, if you're looking for that hamster wheel experience, that this is not <laughs> going to, to be the kind of role for you. Every <laughs> it, is, it is. You're working with startups. You're working with people who were hiring on a spreadsheet a month ago. You're, um, you know, you're you're really going into places where they lean on your expertise um, within the TA environment, within the roles for which you are hiring for. They they really need you to come in and be able to hit the ground running. Um, you know, they'll tell you about the organization, but they can't tell you how to recruit. So you got to be really confident on who you are and know that you can come in and and be that on-demand recruiting expert for them um you know right out the gate um Courtney, and then we also quick, quick question like yeah. what would be the difference between being a contract recruiter through practice talent and being sort of a contract recruiter on your own like what's the benefits Ooh, of being in your in your tribe and your uh in our on-demand recruiting uh network yeah, well, I mean, right off the bat, the, the sort of the first piece of it is, is that you're you're getting to come in and Im immediately have still a, a tribe, a group to be a part of. Um, if you're out there on your own, you are truly on your own. You're an island. You're doing it yourself, um, which is everything. You're doing all of it yourself. You're, you're going out and you're finding the opportunities and you're having to account manage yourself. If things start to um, get challenging or tricky, it's, it's all on you. And if you, you come up to a, a wreck, you're, you're not really sure what to do with it's still sort of all on you and you reaching out to maybe your professional network. You come in with us here in the tribe, you're a part of our, our larger on-demand recruiting group and really just the tribe in, in general, and you immediately have this network of people that are plugged into what's going on, how our projects work, who our clients are, um, they can help you with those those challenging issues, and and you've got a lead consultant that's there partnering with you, so they're the ones managing your account management. If something's going on with the account, they're there to dig in deeper and and help sort of work through complicated situations with the client, um, or if escalations come up, be there and be. Able to, we've got amazing tools that we put in your hands so that you're able to quickly, um, you know, source and 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 screen the candidates that you need to for those clients. Um, you know, you, you've got um, time tracking and, and just, you know, sort of the whole, the whole kit and caboodle that you get in coming in versus being out on your own and really having to sort of manage the whole shop versus getting to just focus in on the part you love, which is the recruiting. I love it. So it's and can I add? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I wanted to add to one of the things that I always communicate when we're talking to potential candidates is that our primary focus with clients is that we help them build a powerful recruiting engine. And when you think about that benefit and coming in-house with someone who is already 
a powerful recruiting engine, you have that opportunity that you would not have as an independent contractor trying to be a solopreneur. You have the proactive talent brand that is going to garner you some, some respect, is going to give you some resources and tools that you may not otherwise want to have or not otherwise have you some, some respect is going to give you some resources and tools that you may not otherwise want to have or not otherwise have. So I just wanted to call that out too, because I think that's really cool. That's not just what we do for clients. That's what we are. Yeah. We also offer tools, like some of the greatest sourcing technology, you know, you know, zoom, like Slack, like all the tools you need are provided to you. You don't have to worry about the, uh, you know, sales, marketing operations, chasing after invoices. We take care of that so that I, our, our recruiters in our network can focus on what they love most, which is recruiting great talent for our clients. Uh, and, 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 and that means more billable time as well uh, for you. So uh, it, it really is a great model for any, any solopreneur contract recruiter who's got great experience wanting to hook into a larger tribe of, of those types of people. So I know, Courtney, you got like a, like a laundry list of different, well. <laughs> Not a laundry, laundry list, list, just one more on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. So, I mean, the, the other side of that would be the lead consultant, which I mentioned previously, but the, the lead consultant role, you know, they're the ones that are, you know, leading those on-demand recruiting engagements, but they're also the ones that are working on recruiting optimization engagements that will mention previously. And also another area that's really blown up in the past year is our tech implementation, integration, optimization, whatever word you want to call it based on the client projects where you're getting to go in and really, um, you know, work hand in hand with clients um, when it comes to their recruiting tech stack and um, help them sort it out, understand what it is, understand how to leverage it, you know, get away from that shiny object syndrome where it's like, ooh, this is the newest trend or newest tool or newest thing. And I'm going to just sort of apply it and hope it just magically works. And these lead consultants get to go in um, and really be that expert, be that uh, advisor um, with our clients and help them understand, yes, this is this is a trend for a reason because it does provide an outcome, but, but you gotta do it right. Um, and really dig into that best practice. And so for those lead consultants, again, you gotta be able to, uh, um, but you need to also be, you know, um, very grounded and, 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 and you know, help them feel very confident that as they're sort of taking some risks, quite honestly, you know, asking hiring leaders to do something different um, or, or you know, helping get a new tool in people's hands within the organization or helping the organization learn how to assess talent in an effective way, you know, they need to feel really confident um, behind your expertise. And so you got to be able to come in and, and remain flexible, but also very stable and, and you know, listen, hear them give them feedback, give them guidance, um, really help them see what sometimes is hard to see when you're on the inside, come in from that outsider's perspective. That's why they bring us in. Um, and so, you know, for those lead consultants, it's being comfortable leading others, being comfortable advising others, and just really being a nerd for all things TA. Like, you gotta <laughs> love it. You gotta wanna read about it and learn the new things and just TA. Like, you gotta love it. You gotta wanna read about it and learn the new things and talk about it and yeah. all of that. What What's the right background, you know, for someone, you know, uh, being a lead consultant, doing recruiting optimization and, and strategy with, with practical talent? Yeah, I mean, I think realistically, there's not any perfect background. I think you could come from a variety of different places, but you have to have a, a broader understanding than just maybe um, having been at, you know, one sort of in-house role forever in general. Um, typically, if you've got some experience in the agency space, in the RBO space, or you've been a consultant on your own, or you've had some experience in managing multiple clients, that can be a really big hump for somebody who's always been in-house to come onto the into the consulting sphere is if you've never managed multiple clients, that is a different animal. Um, exter external clients than internal clients um, because you're working from however many internal clients than internal clients um, because you're working from however many clients you have their calendars and their worlds. And so there's a lot of management that goes into that. And I think right now just, you know, um, being in an industry, coming from an industry or an organization even that, um, you know, has been forward thinking where, you, where you've shown that you've had the opportunity to really push things forward before in an organization and, and have branched out of and hands on touch things that are, um, you know, at the forefront of recruiting and talent acquisition and aren't sort of the 
the way we've always done it, the way we've always done it, you really have to sort of already have that muscle built of knowing how to think about um, sort of that, that longer term future scape and, and how you can really challenge your organization and push your organization to embrace um, new technologies and practices and also um, feel empowered by that. Yeah, I love that. You remind me one of the big reasons I started Private Talent was that I I love building modern recruiting machines, right? And I feel mm -hmm. like that lead consultant role is really is really designed in that light of you got to be obsessive about building machines, uh, yep. building these recruiting machines with these companies. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I see uh, Travis here is chomping at the bit. Like he has something on his mind to say, Travis, what are top, what are the top of roles that you are looking to recruit for these days? Yeah. So I have a couple opportunities right now. Um, the first one, if you want to get in on it, you got to act fast because we have some awesome candidates already in the pipeline and, you know, looking to fill the position in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that first role, it's a media specialist. This is a full-time opportunity with proactive talent. Uh, Will made mention of it uh, earlier in the conversation, but uh, we re recently built out like the ad agency side of the, the business. So you think about the employer brand side, uh, they're, they're out there, they're building the strategies, they're building the personas for the, uh, for the clients. And then on our side, it's up to us to activate that, uh, that marketing material, right? So you think about um, programmatic advertising, digital out of home, things like that. Uh, the media that makes all of that happen so they're going to be you know uh, placing these these uh, uh, creating insertion orders they're going to be um, uh, you know, activating some of the campaigns but they're also going to be the one that's um, you know kind of in the details loves attention to detail and doesn't mind hanging out in a spreadsheet or in a media management platform pulling metrics ensuring that vendors are getting paid ensuring that we're getting paid right so that's the media specialist uh, role. Uh, Will, do you have anything to, to add to that piece? No, I, I mean, I see just as a foundational role, keeping all the engines on track. They're the main air traffic controller of our agency, helping, you know, really navigate, educate and inform clients on what's going on and, and do that media buying and, and click the button and get that hit that magic button that sends that campaign out into the world, right? If you think about the EV, team you know they're helping companies figure out what their story is and then companies figure out what their story is and then travis's team comes in and and they get that story in front of the right eyeballs and target that messaging and so it's it's a really exciting time i think to be a part of travis's org because it's 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 in a rapid growth mode and anybody that maybe starts as a media specialist now could be a future strategist which i believe you're also hiring for right travis yeah that's a great segue so yeah also uh, uh actively recruiting uh, for a lead consultant or a lead strategist on the recruitment marketing side. Uh, this for both roles, I think the one thing that uh, anybody who's looking to join at least my side of the business, these people need to have a passion for people because ultimately that's what we're trying to do is connect employers and, and people trying to connect to each other, right? And you get the right person into the right job, amazing things can happen. And we, we're here to kind of facilitate that magic, right? Um, so the, the lead strategist, this is going to be someone that probably has five years of employer brand or related media management experience. These, this is going to also be a full-time role uh, within the proactive talent team. And the reason both the media specialist and the, the lead strategist are going to be full-time opportunities is that this is the big, one of the biggest pieces of this role is going to be the relationship piece with the client, right? So, you know, this is, you know, we're hoping the goal is, is we do an employer brand activation, then they come over and, um, you know, they come for the employer brand activation, they stay for the marketing. That's right. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, on <laughs> yeah. average, you know, you know, our clients that we build employer brands for, almost all of them stand in and still have, you know, Travis, your team, right? Like come in yeah. and, and help continue to support them as their agency and deploy the ads and continue to activate this, you know, employer brands aren't built in, in a day, right? These are built yep. over years and, and doing, you know, uh, strategic campaigns and targeting to attract the right talents, clients, you know, multiple years. Um, and so wanting to keep that team consistent and, and really invest in them and, 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 in them as, as a full-time employee as well. Whereas, you know, some of the lead consultants on, on some of the other sides of the house, they, you know, they're, they're really solopreneurs and they like doing those three to six month engagements, moving on and building the next machine. This media team really 
sticks with the clients and they're all about the long-term relationship and, 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 and helping continue to optimize our clients' media strategies. Hey, yeah. hey Travis, I have a question. Are, are the candidates yeah. that you want, um, would they all come presumably from like ad agency backgrounds or? Yeah, not necessarily. And that's definitely nice to have, um, you know, I, it's yeah, it's definitely nice to have, but it's not a must have. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so, but someone who's, you know, I definitely be open to chatting with someone who's, you know, been building employer brand strategies or, or activating recruitment marketing, you know, in, internally. Right. Uh, preferably for, for a larger organization. Um, would probably would help um, because there's going to be a lot of moving parts, um, you know, for uh, the, the the strategist role and and the the media specialist role. But yeah, not, I, not a must have. Yeah, and and I think the reason for that too is is Jim's that we're we're trying to build a different model for agency mm. support here. Um, mm -hmm. The way we operate with all of our clients, no matter what service we're doing, is by augmenting their teams. And so, if you're a lead strategist with us, if you're a media specialist you are the lead recruitment strategist or sometimes for some of our clients, you are the recruitment marketing lead for their company uh, and working in tandem with them. This isn't outsourcing your media. We're literally insourcing and we're helping them build the capabilities and program internally as well. Um, so it, 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 you know, having some of that agency experience is important, but just know it's going to be a little different here. We're more, much more, of a deeper touch with our clients and, mm -hmm. and integrated into their teams a little different. So that in-house experience can be very helpful as well. Yeah. And, and if you have both, wow, that, that would be fantastic. But I think somebody who's built the recruitment market, that, that would be fantastic. But I think somebody who's built the recruitment marketing engine within a larger enterprise company would be well suited for, for these roles as well. Cool. And that brings to mind another question for, for Travis. Travis, how many years of experience uh, should this media specialist have? Um, I want to save people. Some, I want to save some people some time. Um, in that, what is I want them to know if his role is perfect for them or if it's not perfect for them. So, do you want somebody with twenty five years experience for this role, or somebody with one year experience? What's the right number? Yeah, for this specialist, we're looking for someone with at least uh, two years experience, right? And that could be relevant experience. So, yes, again, it'd be great if you worked in a worked in an ad agency or or worked into internally managing social channels and activating, you know, social uh, campaigns. Um, but on the, the flip side, you know, you know, open to someone with parallel experience. So you think about someone, um, perhaps a recruitment coordinator who's who's been doing that for a couple of years into this world. Yeah. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Well, uh, last but certainly not least, <laughs> want to transition over. Over to Brittany. Brittany, you um, you are the HR our HR maven here, <laughs> among other things. Uh, tell us tell some of the job seekers that are listening in some of the great perks they get just from being over here. Oh, proactive talent! How I love thee. Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> Poetic. <laughs> Let's write that down. I know. Let's hashtag it. <laughs> so when you think about proactive talent and what differentiates us from many other companies, I would start with our culture. So we call ourselves a tribe by design, and that means we hold ourselves to a, le a high level of integrity, and that no one individual is greater than the whole. And so you think about our core values of integrity, purpose, and kaizen, which is a Japanese word for continuous improvement, efficiency, favor for the long term. Those Japanese word for continuous improvement, efficiency, favor for the long term. Those to me are the fundamental things that help us be excellent at what we do. So of course, like if you like medical and dental benefits and a 401k, proactive talent is the place for you. But if you also are looking for a culture that really wants to see you accelerate individually, professionally, personally, proactive talent is that kind of place. One of the other cool benefits that we have here um, is that you get a snack box delivered to your doorstep each month. Like my daughters and I are fighting every month because they're like, mm, the snack box is about to come, let me grab it. You know, and to me, that really speaks to our focus on people and our focus on making sure we have the right team members um, aligned to our, not only to our clients, but internally. One of the biggest benefits that I believe you would get working at Proactive Talent is that you get to be partnered with leaders in talent acquisition in a way that you perhaps could not. So the nature of these roles and what we do, I'm, I'm sitting here listening to Travis talk about his media specialist role thinking, 
man what I wouldn't give to work with Travis every day because he's just that much of an amazing leader. I already have the opportunity to do that with Courtney and Will, but you have to think about the people you're connected to. I think everyone here has echoed the sentiment that we all love where we work and we like the people we work. I think if you think about perhaps the most dysfunctional family where we all love each other, but we don't like each other, that's not the case here at Proactive Talent. We are a beautiful mix of subject matter experts, creators, and positive change makers who represent a myriad of backgrounds and belief. And this is just not an opportunity you're gonna see traditionally anywhere else. It's just not, it's just not, yeah, it's just not. That makes, it makes me think too, to a, sort of a hidden benefit that gets talked about a lot amongst our tribe. And that's the fact that we really are very holistic. So mm -hmm. while you may work in Courtney's hiring division or on Travis's, on Travis's agency, on the recruitment marketing team, almost all of our clients are doing multiple things with us because we, we, we really tackle our, our, our clients' problems holistically. Sometimes buying ads isn't the, isn't the answer to the problem. Sometimes it's you know extra sourcing help or it's deploying a new process or a technology. Since we can do all of that, what happens is you end up on these blended teams where you may be an ODR recruiter, but you're also seeing how the sausage is getting made on the recruitment marketing. And, and then that's getting deployed through you at a recruiter level too, right? And so you can come in here and maybe you just have experience in recruiting or just on the uh, uh, hiring side, but then get into an engagement where you're learning more about employer branding, about you know programmatic advertising. You are becoming a more well-rounded talent acquisition professional just by proxy of being a part of this group. And I think that speaks to kind of the leadership. Well, I'm going to give you props here. But when you think about someone who came from being the head of global TA at Glassdoor and the level of understanding for TA and recruiting that would be required there, Will really has this um, not just open door policy, but it's like the door is open. I'm bringing you in. What do we want to do together? How can we make great things happen in the world? He has office hours each week where anyone in our tribe, whether they're on our virtual bench, an employee, a contractor can say, well, this is this is what's going on with me. This is what I want to do. And not only within Proactive Talent, that's one of the things that I love about our leadership team is that Will is like, if it's not at Proactive Talent, it should be at Proactive Talent because we're the best. However, if it is not, what is it that you want to do and how can we accelerate you getting there? Like, the leadership at the top is different. And for me, that makes all the difference. So we encourage this kind of raise your hand and tell us what you would like to do. Raise your hand and tell us how you would like to grow. How can we help you grow? Oh, you want to go, you want to go figure this thing out? You want to learn this thing? Okay, come over here and learn this other part of the business. Whereas in traditional, we hired you to be the EB consultant, be the EB consultant. And it's just not the case that proactive. No, I, I really believe that people do their best work when they're doing job that they really love when the, mm -hmm. the work that they're doing is something that they are actually passionate about and so it's something i commonly am telling people in direct force like are you enjoying what you're doing right now if you're not how can we make that change how can we add a different aspect to your role and i think what's great about our model is it is so fluid is that you can make it what you want it to be if you want to work with a specific type of ch problem or challenge we're going to get the sales and marketing engine humming up to find projects that solve that challenge for you right um, just a really core part of who we are. Thanks for calling that out, Brady. Great. Oh, for sure. I um, so enjoy this and I'm hoping that the people listening enjoy it enough to go over to proactivetalent.com and then uh, go to our career section and see what they can see there. Uh, please apply to our career section and see what they can see there. Uh, please apply, please check us out. We have a great newsletter. Uh, where we promote a lot of interesting things that are being talked about in the world of work. We also have some great downloadable items that'll help you, that'll help make your work life that much easier. So please check us out, uh, proactivetalent.com. And I guess I could end with that, but does anyone else want to say anything else before we? Well, yeah, actually, if you want to actually come and be a part of bringing people to Proactive Talent, coming soon very soon to a theater near you Brittany has it. <laughs> yes we are so we are going to be looking to add a recruiting and engagement coordinate coordinator to our team so if you're Ooh. someone who wants to support our organization's growth plans recruiting activities and build positive candidate relationships we need to talk we need to talk if you're someone who really wants to make sure and we're having a positive experience as a tribe and as a culture but you're you're also adept at making sure 
all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed and you've been in a recruiting space, please, please, please reach out to us. Coming soon, you would be first in line for that. So we're telling you to get in line. We're yeah. waiting. Can I just say one thing that just really excites me about this role? I, you know, this role it will, I think, become pretty foundational. You know, if, if I think about this, this is the experience creator at the company, the experience that, you know, that's helping coordinate, you know, people to, to learn more about us through a hiring process internally, but also getting to work with executives at some of the best companies in the world that are our clients, um, making sure that their experience within engagements are great. And, you know, we obviously we want we want our, our consultants spending their time adding value for clients and some of these engagements are getting big and they're complex. And so this person comes in and is helping take that complexity off the table and give people great ex experiences with our firm. Um, and so it, you, to me, that, that may, that means that this person is the face of proactive talent, um, day to day with our clients, with our candidates and with our tribe. Uh, so, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing who, who applies once we get it posted here in a couple of days. Yes, you will be the face. And if you're the kind of person that has temerity, who is looking for your next career adventure, who wants to be doing something that's, you know, helping proactive talent, but also um, working with the top organizations in the world, oftentimes, we want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. Sounds like a dream job for the right person. Uh, we'll be checking our uh, applicant tracking system very soon after this podcast post. So hopefully we'll be uh, <laughs> seeing what you, dear listener, uh, have sent to us. All right. With all uh, hearts and minds clear, we're going to say goodbye at this point, and we will look forward to hearing from you, dear listener, very soon. Talk to you hearing from you, dear listener, very soon. Ta-ta. I think that was right at 30 minutes too. Yeah, <laughs> I time. think it was. All right, let me hit the record button. As in turn it off, not it's start. turn it off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you just started the recording. None of that was recorded. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>